Well, here we are on the eighth video for the Galactic Mail tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to look at creating more levels. So far in these tutorials, you have learnt and we've covered all the skills and concepts highlighted here in green. In relation to creating our Galactic Mail game, we have completed all the specifications for the spaceship object as well as the moon and asteroid objects. We have completed most of the aesthetics and the game plays that error. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to make um, the game progress to a new level when all moons are visited and including increasing the score by 1000 when a level is completed. Okay, well here we are and we now need to start creating new levels. So the first thing we're going to do is bring the resources open. Uh, we're going to go into our rooms and at the moment we have one level and as you probably guess our levels revolve around rooms. So what I need to do is actually I need to copy this room and duplicate it two more times. We're going to have a three level game. Duplicate. So exactly the same in all three levels. And I'm going to rename each of these. So I'm going to name it room one, room as one, this one down. Room underscore two, and this one down. Room underscore three. Okay, so I've created all three levels. Now, what I need to do is we're going to go back to our objects. So go back to our workspace and F12 to clean that up and bring out the objects over here. And I'm going to create a new object called Next Layer. So this is a control object, so I don't need to put this right in. So OBJ, so generally what's going to happen is when we finish a level, we're going to create an instance of object, um, object, um, next level. And once we've done that, um, it's going to tick down. And once object next level has stayed up on the screen for a little bit, it's then going to launch into the next room. So object next level has been named. I'm going to create a set alarm. So let me say create set alarm. Now let's introduce the ideas of alarms. Now we have a few different alarms. We're going to be concerned on okay, create. I'm going to create. When the object starts off it's going to start ticking down an alarm. Now alarm the little timers that exist within the game. So I'm going to set the alarm. And the alarm I'm going to set, you can see there's a few of them here, 11 of them here. I'm going to set the first one, which is called Alarm Zero. And I'm just going to set it down to 45, a count 45. So basically, when this object has created, it's going to start the, set the alarm to 45 and start counting down. Right here. So now, what we need to do is we need to react when Object Zero, uh, when Alarm Zero actually reaches um, uh, reaches zero. So alarm zero is here. So the event of when it's actually counted down, I need to do a few things. First up, I need to set the score because we're going to add a thousand points to the score. Remember, it's relative, and remember, score resides in our control object. Okay, and then I need to test if room. So if I scroll down, so we can find the room section here. Audio buffers, buffers, and let's see, times. That's a game, and here's a room section. So, if room is first, and if room is last. And what we want to do is make sure that the room is last. If the room's last, we can't go to the next room because there is no room. So I click into here. If room is not last, then what I want to do is I want to um, I want to go to the next room. So here is go to the next room. So room is not last, say so go to the next room. So basically this object will be created. It will set the countdown, the alarm to 45 countdown, start counting down. And then after about a second and a half, it will reach zero. It will set the score to a thousand more. And then I'll check whether the room is last. And if the room's not last, 
then if we wanted to go to the next room. The last thing I want to do is to put a little message up on the screen letting me know what's happened. So the message is going to the draw um, action. So this happens at the end of every draw action and what we need to do is we need to set our font, if you remember all this now, set font to our flat final score here. We need to set um, color, set draw color to be white. I need to set uh, alignment, so set text alignment and I want it to be center and then I need to actually draw a value. So drawing the value, which is draw instance, let's draw value. Let's draw health, that, draw cell, draw value. Here we are, beautiful. And the caption is just basically going to be, um, congratulations, next level. Okay, the location that I want it to be, we were talking about putting in the middle of the room and how we do that with the room width variable and divide that by two and the room room, uh, room height variable as well divided by two. So room height, room divided by two. Okay, so now that we've actually created the object, which is going to react when the rocket lands on the last moon, we're now we're gonna go in and deal with that interaction. So we're opening the flying object, right? Here, and we want this to be triggered when the moon, when it lands on the moon. Okay, so some little things we need to change around. First off, we need to consider, this happens at the moment, the object lands. Okay, so we've got the object landing on the moon. And what we need to do when it lands on the moon, we need to consider first whether or not this is the last moon for the land upon. Okay, so let's, we need to do all this before we actually so I'm going to change these around a bit, okay? I'm just going to get to play the audio first. So it lands. Make it logical. So it lands. So we play the audio. We increase our score by 500. 500. Then we're not going to change the instance of landed. Well, that doesn't really matter. We can do that later. In this area in here, I want to reconsider whether or not this is the last move. So instances. Get instant counts. This is one here with the little dots. If I move it into here, it will come into here. And the object I'm looking for is object moon. Remember, we haven't changed a special moon yet. So, I'm looking for object moon, how many object moons there are. Radio, um, get instant count, and I'm going to send that value to a variable called num moons. It's just a temporary variable because it will just exist in this actual action here. We don't have to worry about it being shared outside of the action. So the number of moons that actually, when it lands, how many moons are there? And then we'd have to have a test variable or an if variable. So if variable, and that variable we're gonna check is um, num moons. If it is equal to one, i.e. that I've just collided with the last moon in the room, then I want action to occur here. And the action that I want to occur is that um, the, um, the create an instance of here, create an instance, and I'm going to create an instance of object next room. Okay, you don't have to worry about the zeros, that is really matter. We can put it on the layer of uh, explosions, why not? Not seen anything, or seeing the type, I suppose. Let's put it on that layer. On the top layer, and don't have to worry about a table. 
So we've got that completed now. So let's just have it. I'll actually move this out so we can see fully what this is doing. So our rocket's flying along and it bumps into there we are. It bumps into a moon. Right yeah, Fly rockets flying along, bumps into a moon. Well it plays the sound. Oh, I've got the moon. Right yeah. And then once it's played the sound, it then increases the score by 500. And then it says, okay, how many moons are there? And it puts that value in num moons. Then it will come across to num moons and it will check that value and say, well, is that value one? Now, if it's one, i.e. this is the last moon in the room, then it's going to launch the object next level, which is our little um, event, a little object which runs the event of moving on to the next level. If it's not, if it's not the last moon, then it just changes into object lander and it changes the moon into object special moon and it continues on as it did before. So let's see, let's just pray that I've done that all right and see if it works. So just running that. And of course, this requires me to be skillful enough to get to the next level, which generally speaking, I'm not. Oh, oh no, it's had a fatal error. It's a fatal error. Okay, let's see if we can do some do some troubleshooting here. Fatal error, action number one in step event object moon for object flying. So I'm gonna close you down. Oop. Object moon object flying, which is you. Step error here. Let's just see if I can work out what that is. Okay, so I've just jumped ahead a little bit and you see I've re-ran the game and I've come up with the error again and it says like here, um, instance create layer, specified layer explosions does not exist. So that's the problem. So I need to go check my room. So in the rooms down here and room one, and it's called explosion, not explosions. So yes, it is always that pedantic. So um, I need to change you from being explosions to explosion with a capital E. All right, and now let's see if this one works. And I'll try it again, and you get to see my awesome game playing skills. Yay, congratulations, next level. And see, so it's just up there for a short time. And then it ticks on. And you can, by changing the amount of the um, of the alarm zero counter, it determines how long that that's going to stay up there. Radio. So, closing that down. Now, the last thing you need to do, now we've got our different layers. I'm just going to go F12 bring that down here and the next thing you need to do now is that we need to um, change difficulty because they're all exactly the same all those rooms so I've got my rooms open here room one and at the moment room one has so I'm just going to have you oh, I'm gonna go on to the moon layer we've got to keep our special moon so that's on the instances one can go we'll keep three moons and um, we'll just have uh, four asteroids. Okay, one of those moons is a special moon, which starts off, actually I'll put three moons, keep the other moon in there because you start on one anyway, so you're only gonna have to get down to three. And we're just gonna have four, uh, four asteroids. Right out of the next room, which is room two, um, up here, which in the right order, room two. Um, I've got my four moons, so let's again onto the instance layer, move those around a bit so it doesn't look exactly the same, that's my special moon won't work. Okay, here we are, and I'm now also going to move the asteroids around, and I might add two more asteroids in, or three, to make it a bit of a challenge. Okay, and the last one, room, well, again, I'm going to special moon, I'll the special moon in the middle. I'm going to go to instances and move our 
moons to different locations. And I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to double all up. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have all different layers, which all have different, so you can see, different levels of difficulty. Okay, so I'm just going to save that, and that's that one done. Well, there you have it. We have a pretty much com completed game now with multiple levels um, and score, etc. With just a few more touches, we're going to be completely finished. And in this tutorial, we'll see that we learnt about the alarm event. We've learnt about the actions of set alarm. If room is last, go to next room and get instant count. And we have also understood the concept, learned the concept about room as and levels and room order.